Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. In this episode, I'm bringing you top interview question and answers on JavaScript. This is a mock interview, so you can test your knowledge by answering the questions. The rules of the test are simple. You will be given questions with options. Try to read the questions carefully and answer them. You'll have 10 minutes to complete this tutorial. Try to answer them as honestly as possible. If during the course of any of the questions, if you have doubt, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. So the first question is, which of the following is correct about features of JavaScript? JavaScript is a lightweight interpreted programming language. JavaScript is designed for creating network centric applications. JavaScript is complementary to and integrated with Java or all of the above. Read through the question correctly, read through your options, and I'm going to reveal the answer. The answer is all of the above. The next question is, can you pass a anonymous function as an argument to another function? Is it true or false? All right, take your answer. The answer is true. You can pass an anonymous function as an argument to another function. All right, so the next question is, which built-in method removes the last element from an array and returns that element? So we are talking about array methods here. Which built-in method removes the last element? So the last element to remove is pop. That's right. When you use pop, it will remove the last element from the array and give you that uh, uh, element. Which of the following code creates an object? So take a look at various uh, details of options given here and pick your answer. And I'm going to give you the correct answer in just a bit. So the option is B. You define the variable name equal to the new keyword and object. Look at the case thing also. The next question is, which of the following function of Boolean object returns the primitive value of the Boolean object? So the, your options are to source, value of, to string, none of the above. So the one that will return you value is value of. Which of the following function of string object is used to match a regular expression against a string? So which one would be used to match a regular expression against a str string? And the, the answer is in the question itself if you read it correctly. So the answer is match method. Which of the following function of string object returns the calling string value converted to uppercase while respecting the current locale? So again, if you read the question correctly, you'll find the answer. Two, up, two locale uppercase will give you the calling string value converted to uppercase with respect to the current locale. Which of the following function of string object causes a string to be displayed as a subscript if it were in a sub tag? Which of the following function of string object causes a string to be displayed as a subscript. So we would use, that's right, sub, uh, and that is what will give us the sub tag. Which of the following function of array object applies a function simultaneously against two values of the array from left to right as to reduce it to a single value? Read the question carefully because you have your answer right there. All right, so the answer is reduce method because it will take all the values again the array and re reduce it to a single value. Which of the following function of array object returns a string representing the array and its elements? So read again, returns a string representing the array and its elements. So the answer is two string, that's right. When you use two string, it will return you the string representing the array and all its elements. All right, so that brings us to the end of part one of mock series on JavaScript. Uh, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, do check out and test your knowledge on other series of HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, and much, much more.
Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.